Okay, we're back. So let's talk about another way to export stuff out that gives you a different kind of control. Um, let's talk about exporting SBRS, which are, are SBSARs, um, which are substance files that are enabled to modify and be, can be used in something like Painter. So let's do that. It's really easy. You just gotta make sure you select the top SPS, save what you've done, and then come up to this point right here and say, publish selected element. You click that button, you pick where you want it to save, and we're gonna say exporting, we'll call this um, tree. Like that. And we're gonna say, we don't need that. Pixel size should be fine, random seeds fine. And then we export. Let's go over to Substance Painter. And in Substance Painter, I have nothing, but I'm gonna open up I'm gonna throw this down here. Obviously it was working lately, so. Um, and I'm gonna go find where I save that. In this case, it'll be right here. And you'll see it's this SBA, SBSAR. And you go ahead and throw it to here. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'm gonna change this from, uh, what we usually do is whatever it is, texture or something. We're gonna say base material. And then we're gonna say uh, current session and say import. And there it is, it's really simple. And we'll throw it on here. Now we've got our our textures um, on our object. Really, you know, crazy. We can come up here and tile it if we want, just like a normal texture, like that. This is interesting. It comes up with a bunch of stuff for this default thing. Anyway, so that's all good and well, but it's really not controlled. As you can see it's all the seeds of the randomizer pattern and stuff like that. It's about the only thing that's open to me. So how do we fix that? How do we make this more controllable set inside of here? Like what if we want to change the color, we want to change some of the patterns. So let's go back to Substance again, Substance Designer this time. And we're gonna look at some of these outputs and you'll see if you click on the output, there's nothing here to, to mess with. But if you come over to like this color, for example, you'll see that in this area where it says color, there's these little drop downs. And this is the reason we moved it from gradient because it's a lot more simple of an export. So if I click this little button, it says function. And if I click it, I'm gonna say expose. And I'm gonna name this and I have to make sure I name it. So I'm gonna name this tree outer bark. Oops, first I have to say, my bad, new. Then I say tree outer bark, like that. Say okay, and then say okay. And I'll come to this one, and I'll do the same thing. I just click over here, once it's selected in the view, and I'll say expose, and I'll say not tree outer bark, we're gonna say tree inner, oops, space bark. It doesn't matter, I just, was trying to keep it consistent, say okay. One thing I do want you to notice is my colors are gone. I don't have control over them in here anymore. They're gone. Um, I can also come over here and see what I have. Anytime you see these little equation things, there's other things you can do, but you can you can play with them. So we could say random seeds already over there or something. We could say um, brush pattern. Let's see if this changes anything we like. It's how thick the brush is inside of there. We could say contrast to push them up and down. Let's do that. Let's open these two. Um, expose. And then we'll change this to new. We'll call this um, bark depth contrast. Um, and say OK. And now that one's gone. And I'm not going to worry about balance at this point. You get the idea. Well, I guess it will do balance. Expose, new, color, balance. Okay, so now we've got those, they're gone. So where do I find them if I did wanna look at them, if I wanna set them up before I send them in? Well, you can double click on the background here, which is the whole project, see? And now all those things we made are sitting right here. So the tree, tree outer bark is purple, if we wanna change it to a brown color. Or something like that. And we say okay, and then we come over to this one, um, tree bark two. 
Let me change the amount for this one to be a darker brown. Like that. Okay. And then we save what we changed. So we say save. And then we export. Now you can just overwrite the old one if you look over here. Oops. It'll say publish selected element the same settings as before. Or just send it to substance share. We're going to do this one again. And actually, we'll just do the same settings as before. We'll take that there. Now, unfortunately, in Substance Painter, you can't just update this, right? So we have to go and grab it again. So I'm going to grab that same material. Oops, this one. And see if it's changed. It doesn't look like it did to me. Let me see if it did it. So I gotta put it in here anyway. Yeah, it did. So there, now we've got this one. We've got this material on there and look, we have our colors. We can go back to the purple. We can go back to this right here. We can mess with our balance, how strong the one color is over the other. We can do this. I mean, this is all procedural, so works with that well. Um, we can do a bunch of other things. Now, this is all this stuff's in here for the, uh, the default object, but you get the idea. Now I've got this in here with these kind of controls. Now, the other thing you can do is do this for Unity, the same Unity and um, Unreal, and these same controls that you have here should be available in Unity or Unreal. Unfortunately, I tested it this morning and it's buggy as crap and it just crashes my version. And I even got the late, or not even the latest, but I got the ones that we're using and updated it to the newest version of the, the plugin and it just crashes it out. But the idea is, is that you'd have these same kind of controls inside of Unity and do these kind of changes. Now, the only thing about that is, um, just like this, it's still gonna output textures inside of Unity, inside of the engine. Um, I'm not even gonna upload it, but it's gonna make textures for it. Uh, so it's technically not any faster or any, any um, any better like for memory or anything like that because even though it's it's all procedural until you send it out it's still gonna end up being textures at the end but for speed purposes I mean if you could just mess with the stuff inside of here you open up a wood thing you throw it inside of here and you modify it a few times for different versions BAM you got some pretty exciting stuff anyway that's what uh, that's how you export stuff out of side of uh, designer and put it into unity put it into substance painter put it into separate textures update them all the time and that's what I'm going to have you do with uh, your wood material too, just because it's a simpler material. And we'll talk to you on uh, Monday.